Okay, one thing to remember, it's very important because when you're working with oil paints, it's very, very easy for people to get discouraged in the... Uh, see what I'm doing here is I'm rubbing this out with my fingers, I'm talking here. I'm not rubbing it out, I'm just smoothing off the paint. I don't want a lot of big, heavy globs of paint on here right at this stage, you know. Actually, not at any stage, but... Uh, makes it a little bit easier for me to see. What I was going to say is that uh, in the beginning, uh, the oil paintings in this process can go through a very sort of uh, not very nice looking stage. It doesn't matter. What you have to do is always see beyond that, always see the process. And so I'm trying to show you that process now in the hopes that you won't uh, that in the end, you'll be able to understand that there's a there that there is a phases to this, and if you can see, imagine the painting at the end, and that there's a process of getting to that end, uh, then you'll feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more uh, less less uh, a lot more confident in your in your process. Okay, you know, so I, I've been doing here this morning, as as you all know, is uh, trying to getting some color on here, getting some things in the right sort of place. I told you I was going to go down and paint a little bit more of the nose and define sort of where the middle and the, no and the bottom of the nose are and make sure that the eyes are in the right place. So they're sort of okay right now, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a little de defined drawing. So I took out a little brush and I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit these eyes a little bit more detail, uh, defining their actual shape. And it, well, they're pretty close to their actual shape. Eyelids. And then my eyebrows are are very close. As I get older, my eyebrows, my eyes get uh, get deeper, and and uh, so my eye my eyebrows descend closer to my to my eyeballs. I always have to pay attention to that. So I just sort of define the eye the tops of the eyes. Very simple. Same with the other one. Oh, so when you're doing this, make sure that you understand that they're different. Each eye is different. And, and to do an accurate portrait of anybody, doesn't matter who it is. If you can do it of yourself, you can do it of anybody else. Uh, you just have to remember that as you pay attention to the detail of the way things actually are, uh, the end result is, if you can translate what, that, what you're looking at, the end result will be a good likeness. And a lot of people, uh, for a lot of people that's important. Especially if you're being paid to paint somebody's portrait, they're going to know what it could look like then. Here I take a look at my reducing glass, get a feel for it. There's some things that look a little funny. This line doesn't look quite right. I'll fix that. Um, it's a little rounder. But generally the eyes are fairly, fairly close. I'm going to define the very edges of the eyes in relationship to where they fall with my nostrils, and they're they're pretty close to uh, the interior of the eye is pretty close to the outside of my nostrils. So I'm just sort of going to put marks on there. My my nose, when I look at it, it's always leaned a little bit to one side, so it's not right straight up and down like you might imagine. So again, you. You uh, you paint it the way that the way that it is, and the way that it is is defined by how carefully you look at it. This shapes my eyes here. Again, all this time now, I'm only I'm not using any medium in this paint. It's all just turpentine and a little color. It's either a sort of a dark color or a medium color or a base color that we mixed up in the beginning. I'm going to uh, I'm going to make two round eyeballs here. 
One of the things that's really important, and my wife is always the judge of this early on, is when you're putting in these eyeballs, make sure that they're the same size, for one thing, the right size, and that they're looking in, a, in the right place. Okay, I'm looking back in my mirror. I'm seeing that my original drawing is a little bit cockeyed in relationship to what I'm doing now. It doesn't matter. Because the only thing that's important now is, is the way the, the drawing is proceeding in color. Never get too hung up with your original drawing. 